r slash ask reddit what is something that poor people can do that rich people can't be charged money for not having enough money in their bank account alternate spending money to cash the check to get their money sleep under a bridge unironically in a van be immune to frivolous or even serious lawsuits because they have no money to pay a judgment lol i had a guy threaten to sue me once i'm like sure okay you can have my 200 bucks in savings have patronizing articles about how we can save money written by someone who tosses more money away on starbucks than we spend on necessities each year the luxury of knowing that their friends family actually like them and are not there just for the money maybe they just have nowhere else to go overthrow the bourgeoisie mao was rich peasant and he did exactly that I used to be poor as duck. Now I'm rich, I guess. One thing I can't do anymore is politely refuse things because they're too expensive. If my cheapness prevents me from buying something, anything from expensive beer to a new couch to replace the one I've had to partially rebuild, there's always a little fight with anyone who knows my salary. Are you serious? You make X and you can't afford a couch? Damn right. My path to wealth was my ability to live on very little and still build savings. Avoid gold diggers. It's easier to meet someone who loves you for the way you are and not for the money. What if you run into a forward thinking gold digger who thinks you had the potential to make a lot of money? Live meager lifestyles without disappointing their parents. Bet their bottom dollar on something. They can. It just costs them a lot more. A little off topic, but this reminds me of one of my favorite short stories. The Fisherman and the Businessman. M- One day a fisherman was lying on a beautiful beach, with his fishing pole propped up in the sand and his solitary line cast out into the sparkling blue surf. He was enjoying the warmth of the afternoon sun and the prospect of catching a fish. About the time. A businessman came walking down the beach trying to relieve some of the stress of his workday. He noticed the fisherman sitting on the beach and decided to find out why this fisherman was fishing instead of working harder to make a living for himself and his family. You aren't going to catch men a fish that way, said the businessman. You should be working rather than lying on the beach. The fisherman looked up at the businessman, smiled and replied. And what will my reward be? Well, you can get bigger nets and catch more fish, was the businessman's answer. And then what will my reward be? Asked the fisherman, still smiling. The businessman replied, you will make money and you'll be able to buy a boat, which will then result in larger catches of fish. And then what will my reward be? Asked the fisherman again. The businessman was beginning to get a little irritated with the fisherman's questions. You can buy a bigger boat, and hire some people to work for you, he said. And then what will my reward be? Repeated the fisherman. The businessman was getting angry. Don't you understand? You can build up a fleet of fishing boats, sail all over the world, and let all your employees catch fish for you. Once again the fisherman asked. And then what will my reward be? The businessman was red with rage and shouted at the fisherman. Don't you understand that you can become so rich that you will never have to work for your living again? You can spend all the rest of your days sitting on this beach, looking at the sunset. You won't have a care in the world. The fisherman, still smiling, looked up and said, And what do you think I'm doing right now? We're the first ones to starve. We're the first ones to die the first ones in line for that pie in the sky and we're always the last when the cream is shared out for the worker is working when the fat cat about. And when the sky darkens and the prospect is war who's given a gun and then pushed to the fore and expected to die for the land of our birth though we've never owned one lousy handful of earth. They can become rich. I mean if you're rich you can still have your name changed to Richard and become rich. Complain about money without sounding like an ass. Oh, I know. This must be so hard. Oh no. Two women love me. They're both gorgeous and sexy. My wallet's too small for my 50s and my diamond shoes are too tight. Chandler. Friends. 1040Z. Get excited over a $5 homemade gift. Or just a card. When you know that $3 card or $5 gift put a dent in someone's food budget.
My best gift ever was a can of Pepsi. The only time I ever drank anything that wasn't water or tea. I was serving at a homeless shelter and it was my birthday. I had been scrubbing the floors and cleaning the clothing racks all day. And I was in the kitchen cleaning up after a meal when the residents pulled together all their pennies and bought me a 35 cents can of Pepsi. The home provided things like juice and coffee but canned drinks were like a fundraising thing. It meant a lot to me to know that these people somehow knew it was my birthday and took the time to get together and get me something. It was the most special thing anyone has ever done for me. Enjoy the little things in life. I know a lot of rich people who have to spend hundreds of dollars at a time to enjoy themselves. Die from common, treatable diseases. Rich people can do that. I saw a thread a few days ago about Steve Jobs treating his cancer with fruit instead of medicine. Starve at the end of the month because your disability check and debt never stretch that far. Source, me. Have you tried pulling yourself up by your bootstraps? S. Go out and leave the door open. My dad never locks his car doors because there is nothing in here worth more than the window. Suck some penis for a hamburger? Rich people can totally do that, if they feel like it, or just really like hamburgers. Use the emergency room and hospital services without having medical insurance. If they can't pay, the state ultimately picks up the tab, or the hospital takes a loss. Came here to say the same thing. Friends with a poor family that gets all their medical care through the air, has to treat them while a regular doctor's office will ask for upfront payment. One of their extended family has no easy access to a car so calls an ambulance if they are feeling particularly bad, knows the system well enough and has a medical history to make the ride appear legit. Know that my husband still loves me and can be happy with me even if we're broke. Not being begged for big money and not being called mean for refusing to give it. Edit. By comma 4. Having family members ask for loans seems awkward as hell. My so got some money after a lawsuit due to a permanent injury, and so he's helped his brothers with various projects, moving, buying college credits, and a few grand each just for whatever they might need, but one of them who never pays it back, is mad that my so won't lend him a few thousand dollars for nothing, after he lent the other brother, who will pay it back, a few thousand to pursue his degree, some people feel very entitled to what other people have. Add to that, he needs the money for ongoing medical treatment, it's not just a for fun fund. Make plans to become wealthy, minus step 1, become a pharmacist step 2, stay a pharmacist. Make fun of other poor people for being poor in social settings, it's self deprecating when a fellow poor person does it, but if a rich guy makes fun of poor people at a party that comes off super tasteless. Pack all their belongings into their car and move. Taste macaroni and cheese made from that block of salty government cheese they had back in the 80s, was great actually. Having a wife 20 years younger and people will not be like, that must be true love s. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price. Bru